Now, one of the most interesting things people are saying here today is the number of studs people have breed their own cattle and bring in through youngsters. Now, do you think that's really encouraging for the short horn breed? I think it is encouraging. It shows that we do have a future. Um, the young ones are going through, they're getting encouragement here and from other breeders and by the time a green champion for Raider yesterday. It was. It was a, a good fitting end to uh, my final year. For the end of the day, with three what we consider very, very, very good heifers up here. We've got our fourth heifer at the... Uh, at the front, she's a beautiful, soft little heifer that we found early on this morning. It's just a delightful little heifer that I think will go on and do a fantastic job in that herd. We've got a six-month-old heifer, this rain heifer in the middle here that's just packed full of meat and uh, and really has uh, <coughs> has probably the most meat out of the three heifers uh, and, and muscle packs, but still re retains her ability to, to have that beautiful, soft front end and that femininity up front. And we've got the big red heifer down the back to is ready uh, on the point of carving. She's also got that wonderful wedgie shape as we commented before. But today our grand champion heifer is the roan heifer in the middle. It takes a lot of organising to get the heifer show running. I mean, you had people from South Australia attend and Albury and all across the state. Is it really good to see so many enthusiastic young people? makes it all worth it while for the committee to do just to see so many kids coming and having fun and you see from the start to the end the confidence changes.